Semi-Stall, a playstyle based around stalling out opposing teams with passive damage from hazards and statuses, focusing on walling as many lumens with fitting team slots and with tanks, and resulting in only a few offensive lumens to clean the end of the battle. While variations of semi-stall are constantly changing because of specific Lumians rising up in usage, the same core rules have been the same ever since the first ever rally update came out. So naturally, it's about damn time to start talking about how to play and defeat this playstyle. From explaining how semi-stall works, the explanation of roles a Lumian can play, to Lumians that fit on semi-stall, general templates on semi-stall, and how to defeat it, Today's video is all about how to play and defeat semi-stall. Before we get started, you should know that a Lumian on a semi-stall team should not only focus on walling Lumians. The great thing about semi-stall in this game is that walls have adapted to bring setup moves, statusing moves, and strong coverage. This gives more versatility to your teams and gives your opponent a mental fucking breakdown whenever they try predicting what Lumians are going to bring. Unlike other playstyles, semi-stall is the easiest but slowest strategy in the game, except when you're comparing it to stall. There's not a lot of things to say about these rules because they work in tandem with strategies. An important thing to know during these slow paced matches is you need to keep focus on keeping your walls. Because of the 5 teammate slots, you cannot bring every wall to every match. Assuming you brought a good combination of walls, you need to bring what walls the most cleaners, sweepers, or wall breakers on your opponent's team. Another rule to semi stall is to keep some sort of damage going. Most of your match turns will be you setting up, switching, or predicting your opponents. If you cannot get damage consistently, your match will be much longer than anticipated. The final rule to semi stall is to have some sort of way to guarantee yourself to win the end game. The most common answer is a fast cleaner like Zulong, Protagon, Hunter, or more. It doesn't have to be a cleaner, it can be a wall with a great setup like Obsidian, but most of the time, just use a cleaner. Unlike other strategies, semi-stall can have different ways of starting the match, from setting up hazards for steady chip damage, throwing around statuses to cripple Lumians, or getting a quick read with your Lumians to do whatever you need is necessary. Things to keep in mind during the battle is to target whatever offensive Lumians threaten you. This can come from, from bringing specific answers for that wallbreaker to status or 1v1ing it, or bringing a fast strong Lumion to outspeed and force that wallbreaker out like a specialty boots Tatab or a shell guard golem attack. Once you take down the biggest threat on the opposing team, your match is smooth sailing from now on. Once you reach this point, you need to use your cleaner to clean whatever is left. If you need to chip down Lumines further, go do that. Remember, your cleaner is vital to your endgame success. If you lose your cleaner, there is not a lot of chances to get an easy win. However, cleaners aren't the only Lumians to clean the endgame. Walls that can set up, like Obsidian and Stratosaur, are good to keep for the endgame, but using cleaners are the easiest. An honorable mention before we get to the next part of the video is filling your roster with walls that can stop wall breakers from setting up and breaking your team. This can come from walls that can set up along wall breakers like Obsidian, Tundra, and Stratosaur, or moves that force Lumines out like a Driving Force Harvestek or Wobbles. Because there are many types of walls in this game, it won't do you any good to explain every type. So, synergy between walls is what will be discussed. In order to win and stall matches, having a good defensive core is needed. The most simple kind of synergy is covering type weaknesses. Walls covering each other's weaknesses makes your team naturally stronger to check the metagame's wall breakers and will naturally wall a lot of Lumions. For example, a good defensive core is Luminami, Harvestect, and Tyrex. Luminami covers Harvestect's Light, Spirit, Ice, and Ancient weaknesses, while also covering Tyrex's Water, Fire weaknesses. Harvestect also covers Luminami's Electric, Dark, Plant, and Toxic weaknesses, while also covering Tyrex's Earth and Brawler weaknesses. Finally, Tyrex covers Luminami's Electric and Toxic weaknesses, while also covering Harvestect's Ancient and Air weaknesses. In total, they resist or are immune to almost all types in the game. Another thing to keep in mind is walls need to have some way to block hazards from setting or stopping pivot slash momentum. For example, walls with hazard removal like Burn Up Chartiki, Tear Down Taoshinu and Phage Knot, Regift Fiskarna and Cosmiar Encased, Gust Stratosaur, Mudslide Lumians, etc. are good ways to stop hazards from setting. Ways to stop pivoting are pretty simple. All you need are Light, Plant, and Earth types to stop Zip Zap, Flash and Flea, and Fade Away. 
These can range from defensive walls like Luminami, Chartiki, and Tyrex to offensive rule mains like Teclipse, Tatab, Baneki, Namare, and Gargolem Speech Last Attack. As long as you have these typings, abilities, and moves, you're going to have an average time blocking hazards and pivoting. With that out of the way, let's talk about counterplay. Just like semi-stall's never-ending lumines to run, there are also various ways to stop semi-stall. While this way is not fully developed, the introduction to stall breakers is very important in order to stop semi-stall. While a stall breaker's qualities can range from varying very fast like Boneki to being slow as hell like a Cosmere Cracked, the main thing holding these guys together is to stop the walls from achieving their goals. This can be from limiting their recovery and longevity by poisoning or throwing any other status like Boneki, Garbantis, Halvantic, Tatab, Barblast, Lumines like Zephlin, Garbantis, Spheroglyph, Gabademic, and Chartiki, provoking their support moves so they can't heal or set up while you do damage, stopping them from pivoting out of the battle with Lumines immune to those moves like Boneki, Tatab, Gargolem Attack, Last Regular. To clips, Chartiki, and Garbantis, and setting up your own damage like Halbantic, Falkyrie, Zephyr, Garbantis, Totem, Namari, and Cosmic Cracked. We well, can use regular wall breakers and not stall breakers. I personally think that using at least one or two stall breakers on your team is very beneficial for your counterplay against this annoying playstyle. So this is the end of the video. The more I do these types of videos, the more I realize how the release of new Lumians can affect the meta and how important these meta playstyles are determining what we use in our teams. The most frightening thing I've discovered while doing research for this video is the fact that because we have so much Lumians that can fit on a semi-stall, there might never be a meta that will be without semi-stall. Because of the early mistakes by Jamie Jamie and the game mechanics like the energy system and the low base stab power of moves, the game looks like it already loves bulky playstyles. While we can never get semi-stall out of the meta, we can take risks and ideas that will bring us more knowledge about the game and eventually we'll get an even playing field in terms of what playstyles are being used. Hopefully you liked and subscribed by now because this video took quite some time. This is Cotton Stoops signing off to tell you that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.